Well, a gay journalist in Brooklyn has done just about the bravest thing a gay Brooklyn journalist can do. He abandoned trendy lifestyle liberalism for something else. Chadwick Moore wrote a pretty straightforward profile of Milo Yiannopoulos for a left-wing gay magazine last fall. The simple profile cost him many of his friends and triggered a wave, a big wave of online hostility. The backlash, Moore said in a piece for the New York Post, caused him to reevaluate his beliefs and he decided that modern liberalism is, quote, ugly, lockstep, incurious, and mean-spirited. He says he's conservative now, though he did vote for Hillary Clinton a mere three months ago, so he's still rethinking things. Chadwick Moore joins us from New York. Chadwick, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, I left my scarlet letter at home. <laughs> you did? Well, but it sounds, like, <laughs> it sounds like you got one. You have this really interesting piece in the New York Post, and the part that jumped out at me immediately was the fact that after doing this profile, which you described, it's pretty straightforward, you know, sort of not for Milo or against, but kind of telling who he is, that one of your best friends disowned you as a friend. Right. I mean, and this is a story that, that is just repeated constantly, right? Everyone lost friends and family member. And I was even, we, when I even said I voted for Hillary Clinton, so many people were like, oh, you did? Oh, my, oh, my, oh I just assumed you were a Trump supporter. And, and why would you assume that? And, and the profile was extremely balanced. And I treated him no differently than I would have treated anyone else. Uh, and but people aren't accustomed to hearing uh, those sorts of stories about controversial figures, well, quote unquote controversial figures, people, uh, people on the far right. So you, you found yourself looking at the community you live in through a very different lens all of a sudden you wrote. And what did you see? D m m paranoia and mean spiritedness and, and an aversion to understanding, um, an aversion to communicating with people who don't agree with you and to understanding why exactly uh, Trump became so popular and eventually won. Um, and, and also now that the election is over, sort of evaluating how the Democratic Party and how the far left alienated so many people and how they messed up so badly. You know, I thought that after the election they would have sat down and, you know, had a, you know, had a come to Jesus moment. And that hasn't happened at all. Interesting. So you wrote this piece before the election, right? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, so about a month. Before. So the, the reaction is so interesting to me because the world that you live in it was ascendant. I mean, every, you know, rights battle that's been fought over the past 10 years, a victory. It looked like Hillary Clinton was going to be elected. Why the closed-mindedness and the paranoia you describe? It seems like people with those views would be really happy. That's a very good question. I, I, I don't know if it's, if it's just the nature of uh, people aren't uh, taught to, th to cr think critically these days. Uh, people are so locked into their social media bubbles and their friendship bubbles. And it's just this reinforcing yeah. uh, uh, disease of hearing your own opinion spouted back at you constantly uh, and, and just yeah. uncontrollable paranoia. It's really sad and it's really damaging to... Journalism, for one, journalists are terrified of these people, right. and uh, it's it's just very, very sad and upsetting. And you know, uh, more people, but it, I don't think it's a majority of people, and I don't think it's a majority of people on the left. No, no, I don't think. Well, I don't think it is either. Actually, yeah. not the people I know. But one of the the saddest casualties, along with you know decency and open mindedness, is curiosity. When you sort of get in a place oh. like that, it's very hard to be interested in people who disagree with you. And for journalists, I mean, that's just death, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And it's death for gay people. You know, I've always said that gay people are natural libertarians, you know, because we existed so many times uh, for, or for so long throughout history outside of contemporary of a uh, acceptable right. society that, you know, we've the one thing that we've always wanted was to be left alone by the government and by our neighbors, essentially. Uh, and now the, the rights become uh, the left's become completely puritanical and it's very off putting. Interesting. What an interesting journey you're on, Chadwick. Thanks a lot for coming on. <laughs> Thank that you very great. much. I hope you keep writing about this. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right.